So iOS 15 has just been released, and with that, brand new CarPlay. Now it's not a huge update like in previous years, but there are some notable features worth looking at. Now because CarPlay is part of iOS, to install this update, all you have to do is install iOS 15 on your iPhone, connect your iPhone to CarPlay, and immediately you'll see the new changes. And while we're going through a bunch of new features today, it's worth noting that you can use the chapters below to jump between specific features at any point in the video. So first up, we have Announce Messages. In Settings, then Announce Messages, you can choose whether you want Siri to read messages like this. From Eric Vittorini, remember to like and subscribe to this video. And you can choose for that to happen once or every time you connect to CarPlay by selecting Remember Previous Setting. Now that's going to work very similar to what you expect when you have AirPods announcing your messages, where it'll automatically trigger the announcement, and then it'll pause for a brief second, allowing you to respond totally hands-free so you no longer have to hit the Siri button or anything on your screen. You can simply just talk back, and it'll automatically send a message back or respond to that notification. In my experience, this has actually been really nice, and I think a lot of people are probably going to use it. Now, much like on iOS, there's a brand new focus mode for driving, which will mute notifications and let people know you have focus mode turned on in iMessage. You can change these settings from your phone to determine who and what apps are allowed to contact you while driving, just like you would on any other focus mode. And then in settings with CarPlay, you can choose to enable driving focus automatically when connected to CarPlay. Next, we have new wallpapers in CarPlay. And no, we don't have the ability for a custom wallpaper just yet. They look pretty good without being too distracting, and you can see all four of them here, but overall, I prefer a simpler background. Now, they also made changes to Apple Maps, including a much more detailed map and turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Unfortunately, it's not available in my area to test out. However, looking at all the screenshots, it looks pretty good. So that's basically all that's new with CarPlay. Again, it's not a huge update. There's only a handful of features. Luckily, any of the downsides I had to say about CarPlay over my testing have now all been resolved with the public release, so there's no time wasted on any of that. So far, CarPlay and really all of iOS 15 has been extremely stable for me, and so I do think it's safe for you to install the first generation without needing to wait for a patch update or something like that. In terms of compatibility, it's going to be available on iPhone 6S or the iPod Touch 7th generation or later, and it's available now from the Settings app on your iPhone. Also, if you missed it, take a look back at my iOS 15 review, where I take you through all of the brand new features with iOS 15. And as always, remember to hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this from me, and hit the like button because it tells YouTube that videos like this don't suck. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.